rolling. Rolling up to meet Matt Coates. Said he has something for me. Matt, hello. Hey, don't say it. Very well. Hey, I've never met you. Michael, how you doing? Is he a new employee, friend? Business partner. Business partner. Oh, because you said you never came out this way or anything. You finally got him out of the house. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. So, did you had brown sugar bacon again yesterday? Did you have brown sugar bacon again yesterday? Yeah. That was the first time. Oh, that was the first time. Okay, because that's when. You're the rest of your luggage. You're right. I got room now. Oh, I thought the crank support was like massive for whatever reason. So it's all modular. Yeah. Rip it up, screw it. Well, that's the... So that replaces the Fiat bracket system and uh, in, the, in the car. So what bolts on to the actual, oh, this is billet, billet. Yeah. You wanna hold that real quick? Hold it up, please. Thank you, thank you. Really nice piece. That's great. You made me do it for you. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. <laughs> So that bolts onto the front balancer. No, it's the new water pump. Oh, that's oh, the new water pump pulley. Yeah, you got to finish it off. Oh, that's badass. Can't do half a job. That's excellent. So now, what bolts onto the actual crank that has the bearing support system? You don't have to open it up if you don't want to, but I'm interested. So on your ITR balancer, yeah. you'll pull the bolt out. You know, in the end, look at their... Put the bolt back in. It's that. cold. It's probably cold because yeah, I felt is. it's cold. Yeah. It's one thousand. Got it. Oh, it's one thousand in interference. Okay. Yep. So that yeah. goes on the front of the HR balancer. That and that rides on the bearing all the time. Yeah. Oh wow! So if there's any deflection, it's taken up by the bearing. Yeah. Which is like that. Okay. Just like that. So take the balancer off. Put that on. Yeah, take the bolt out. Throw the washer away. Bolt it back on. That's oh, wow. three one six. It'll never. That's the heaviest part. Okay. That's bad. I I didn't understand. I thought there was like a, a gap between that so that when it would deflect it would catch, but it's always riding on that. Okay. So all you do is you just pop that out, push that bearing out if it fails. Yep. Press a new one in. So there's nothing supporting that other than it, exactly the, the shoulder. Shoulder yeah. down. So And what kind of bearing is it? That's a 2Z, so it's a 10,000 RPM steel shield. Perfect. And that's the important part yes. because because we know of some companies that have like a six series bearing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. These are C3s. Okay. So these both go on your factory Ford or Roush tensioner. On the factory tensioner? Okay. Which... Got it. Now when you pull them apart, there's two different size spaces behind there. So they sit parallel. Got it. So they're double. I oh, know single bearings on those. You can put it down if you want. I know it's fight. You should be able to assemble it. It's a roughly assembly word. So they will go in there behind there like that. Right. Yeah. Attention to plate. And you're saying it could take up about how many inches? Six inches. Six inches? I stuffed up one in the video the other day. Yeah, it was like 30 inches. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Six inches. Okay. See, so factory tension, I got two of them in there. Yeah, I thought there was one wrapped, and when you pull one out, not wrapped up. <laughs> so that bolt's on here. The factory tensioner either mounts in here and those two, or here and those two. Okay. So you can adjust the tensioner from there to there. So you can go from a 2.4 to a 4 inch upper on the one belt. Really? You don't have to keep swapping belts out depending on pulley size. One belt. 10 minute, 10 minute changeup. 10 minute changeup? So you just undo the four M8 cap screws, take this off, adjust it here, and then put it straight back on the car, put your ratchet in. You're right, because you're actually clocking the tensioner at that point. Oh wow. And this is 10 rib, but you can put an eight, you can put an eight rib in the middle. Eight or a six if you want. Eight or Boy. Yeah, exactly. You go out, you go out. So this bracket here, bolts to the front of the block. That sits back in there. These two bolts here line up to that. Okay. That's bolted to the, there's a pulley here. And that bolts to the block, back to the block. Um, and then this one here runs down next to it and it bolts back to the top. Of the so where there. does the idler end up? Um, Get him out. Stands there, Mick. How long did it take you to develop this? Uh, <laughs> where's the back stand for that one? 
me a couple of hours. <laughs> a couple of hours. So that goes there. That's your top idler, blow up pulley there. Okay. So that'll sit roughly there like that. Okay. And then this one here. So there's no need for a bigger idler. You can just pick up to take up everything down here. We're going to make another one of these so we can actually position that idler closer to. Okay. Like, the, like Scott's bracket. Got yeah. it. Got it. Yep. Yep. So that goes. <laughs> the one that looks no like okay. Where's the other part? Did not give it to you? No. So that basically goes to there. It's fine. Yeah. That's basic. Yeah. He. I, he, I think he's had it for. I think he's had it for over. No, he's been one. talking to me about this for over a year. Yeah, we two. did the Falcon one. Yeah. Which is slightly different. Oh, look at that. Man, the fitment's so nice. <laughs> So then that there, we'll like, uh, go together like that. Got yeah, it. Everybody's been wanting to like, yeah. I want a four charger, I want a manifold, it's not attached to it. Oh, so this doesn't attach That's to the, the manifold at all? Awesome. Let's try that bracket away that we yeah, made. Yeah, 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 the little tiny thing there. This one goes down here, double there, one big bolt all the way through back to the block. Okay. And we just affix it back to there. So that'll sit in behind there. Yeah, I'll obviously be calling you just in case I go, oh, which bolt goes where and all this stuff, yeah, but we'll figure it out. The other stand from the top? Oh, it's a melt. Right, that's really good. Bag of bolts. All three out of four stainless. Oh, nice. So that one goes on there. And that, okay, and that goes through the bolt, through the block. Got it. Yep. Okay. Good thing I'm taking video because I'll have to kind of figure out, you know, what yeah, the I've got deal a video is. with all the sides. Oh, you do? So okay. we pin back to the timing case here, all the way back through to the cylinder head here. Okay. Back to the block here, timing case, timing case. There's another idle that goes here. And, you're, and you, you're providing those bolts? Yeah. With that. Okay, good, because they're longer. Yeah. So there's an M10 here, M10 here, M8 everywhere else, and obviously M6. Yeah. Oh, the stock one? The stock uh, you've one. got the small one on there, haven't you? The... The small one? The tensioner for the, the accessories? Accessory tensioner? Mm, I don't, I think it's stock. Yeah, I think it's 15. 15, maybe you have a little tiny billet aluminium on it. I'm not sure. I don't think I have small accessory tensioner. I think it's a stock tensioner for the accessories. Because I'm, 15 over there. I'd have to look at it. I'd have to look at it a little bit. A little bit uh, he may have clocked the tension. No, the tension. See, I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's kind of hard to explain it without having it in front of me because I've undone that tensioner so many times for the accessories it's off to the side quite a bit mm -hmm. so I don't think it's in the way per se but does this have to does this in, does the new accessory tensioner bolt up to this in any way shape or form okay so maybe maybe it's just I'm not visualizing it properly so I'd have to check it out no just that small little bit on that oh, okay the factory one doesn't fit with the 15 over you've got to put a smaller tensioner on to get the 15 over oh the 15 overdrive got it yeah. okay so you probably have that if not we sort that okay Think Blue Goose has anything for this car? It's been quicker. This has been quicker? Blue Goose has been quicker. Oh, so Blue Goose, a full full weighted street car. It's been faster than with this, a coyote. With a coyote. <laughs> 302 versus 427. This is a 427? Uh, oh my god, yeah, okay. Sorry. Sorry guys. Bigger guy. turbos too. Bigger turbos. Yeah. But he's been faster, a mile an hour, right? Yeah, 180 plus. Interesting. Would it be uh, uh, seven, eight, I think. Yeah, seven, eight. But stick shift. Yeah. yeah. But he probably shifts quicker than the six R. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. Although the four R shifts twice. The radio still works though. And no AC. Got, there's all these offsets. We have power windows. Coyote. Coyote. Four twenty seven. Yeah. Thirty seven fifty versus three thousand. Well, he said it's thirty five hundred. He weighed it. He said it's thirty five hundred. I don't know where 3,500 is on this, honestly. I'm pretty sure at World Cup, he went over the scales, it was like 3,000. Oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm taking HP points off. 